Welcome to another episode of Living Too Late. My name's Ollie Smith. Over there is my studio mate, Mark. Elliot Smith. Elliot Smith. Hello, Mark. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell you what, this has been a bonkers episode. Where yeah. I mean, I think it's... I love it. I think it's because <laughs> it's a bit warm in here. Got more lights on than we normally have on. Anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not used to all this light. Um, so, in this episode... We talk a little bit about um, the pricing of open calls for artists, which we both feel is shocking, shocking and unacceptable. Um, um, so, gen- we, generally speaking, yeah. generally speaking, uh, the frustrations of open calls and how it makes you feel. Yeah, take part in that. Yeah, um, we've got also. Um, uh, an art opportunity to talk about, which is the uh, presented by the London Graphic Centre in in London. Mm-hmm. Um, what else did we talk about, Mark? Um, we talked about some of our paintings. In the did we talk briefly on the wall. about a bit about some of these uh, paintings we have here? That one down and there. That one down there. Um, what uh, else did we talk about? Uh, I kind of forgotten already. <laughs> You'll find out. It'll be a nice surprise. Yeah, I mean, mainly we kind of uh, we go off on a bit of a tangent yeah, of just uh, existing yeah. uh, in the art world at mm-hmm. the moment. Yeah. Um, so um, we hope you enjoy the episode and um, come back and uh, uh, see us again. Um, please consider liking and subscribing to our little channel here. And um, uh, we'll uh, be back right after... Oh, we talked about glasses. Did we? Yeah, briefly. Did I talk about these? Yeah, a little bit, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure about these. Yeah. Uh, I if I could if I could find out whether the viewers no, 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 think no. I should get rid of my sunglasses. No, no, they'll, they'll want you to keep them, definitely. Because I think I get two weeks <laughs> to get a refund. I can take no, them back no, for a no, refund. You need to keep them. Oh, yeah. thanks, Mark. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. As long as I can keep these. You can, they're, no, they're mine. <laughs> <laughs> They're my okay. studio workshop glasses. Okay. Um, I can get you a pair quite easily. Um, so that's it uh, for an intro, and uh, we'll be back right after this. Heavy. This is quite the opposite, actually, isn't it? When you think it's very summery, it's very light. Very summery Sweet. drink. <laughs> Sweet and summery, bursting with colour. <laughs> <laughs> flavor, <laughs> yeah, flavor. Whereas Doom Bar is like a proper, you know, it's like a grown-up man drink, isn't it? It's Doom Bar yeah. is, it's, uh, yeah, it's about the seriousness of uh, adulthood. Yeah, and this is like skipping through the fields. Look at it. Exactly. It's kind of like uh, it has, it's actually got sweet and juicy on yeah. the uh, yeah, on yeah, the can. Exactly. Um, it's lovely. <laughs> so we're nice. we're lubricating the cogs. With um, some lovely Thatcher's Blood Orange Cider. Yummy it is too. And um, it's thanks, a good one. Yeah. Thanks for going to get that, Mark. That's fine. Um, yeah. You're a diamond geezer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I've been called that a few times, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, I, and I was um, about to say, it's these new shades that I'm wearing. Yeah, that's, which, that's right. Um, on the camera, they um, look kind of dark. But actually, in person, you can see in... You see uh, my eye. Yeah, I mean, oh yeah, absolutely. They're, they're they're very slightly blue tinted. They're kind of like water watery tinted, aren't they? That sort of swimming pool blue. Yeah. You know. Quite like it. Yeah. I wasn't sure about them. I'm still not sure about them. No, no, you've got to keep them because because uh, it's it's uh, like I said. Um, hang on. Go on. Carry oh, on. oh, good, good. <laughs> you you've got the. Uh, the Ricky Wilson look. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah. the way you said that as like a sheepish. Uh, look, yeah. Can I say it? I can say it. I will say it. Yeah, yeah. I, I uh, think so, yeah. Rick, I still don't know who that is. <laughs> Ricky Wilson. Um, yeah. Okay. I don't They're, know what he sounds like. They will know. Well, some of them will. Um, <laughs> I don't know who that is, but uh, and I don't know who what he sounds like as a person. I think um, a bit like you, actually. Does he? Yeah. What? Yeah. You mean I'm not unique sounding? Um, a bit hard not to completely. Oh. <laughs> anyway. That's all right. <clears throat> it's fine. 
Uh, I sound a bit too unique, I think. <laughs> you got think a very I good. Just sit my mouth. No, no, you got weird. Very, no, you got a, uh, <laughs> you got a mighty fine sounding voice. Oh, good. Yeah, um, which um, I don't think I have. Um, no, I think you've definitely got the radio voice, the the podcast voice. No, no, you do. Do I? Yeah. Nah. No, no, not me. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we need someone in the middle yeah. to, to speak for both of us. To yeah, combine our voices and uh, channel them out as one. You know. Yeah, do that Three Stooges yeah. thing where you like slap and duck and prod on the eyes. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, gosh, um, how have you been, Mark? Um, we've we've uh, we've made it to halfway through the year. Yeah. Um, hmm. Well, it's been a busy, a busy. <sighs> a busy part of the first year, really, hasn't it? You know, I guess so. Um, I mean, winter was awful. Yeah, spring yeah, was yeah. awful. <laughs> Summer's been really hot, which it has it made has. it awful. <laughs> 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 yeah. Last week has been cool, cooler though. So um, it's global warming, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Um. So uh, we we had our last exhibition. How did you think that went? It was warm, eh? Oh God, yeah! It in was the like room, sauna. It was like there. a sauna. You know, you go in there, and because um, basically, uh, uh, for those who don't know, our uh, exhibition room is that way. Is that way a room again? So there's another studio, art studio on the opposite side of that wall, and then we've got a nice big gallery space where we all show our work. And but the, the thing is, open egg. Oh man! You know it, it was, was busy. <laughs> it was busy. It would put the spa, you know, the um, bath the spa, the, bath, the thermal spas, the bath thermal it, yeah, spa. It would put their steam rooms to shame on an evening <laughs> like we had. <laughs> you know, I know what you're saying. Literally, <coughs> we're pouring fountains. It was but, uh, it was warm in there. Yeah, and I think that put some people off. It, possibly, but then there was a, a fair amount to drink as well. There were there without were, being too um, much. There was <laughs> there was ice. Oh, there was ice? For yeah. the drinks. Yeah, yeah. Um, which um, I walked in with like five bags of ice and somebody went, oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Next time in the summer, maybe we could have just fill up a bath in there. You, could, you know, you could sort of, uh, you know, people could take turns to go in and, and cool down. I mean, that could be part of a whole public. Maybe a foot bath, like an ice foot bath. I think the whole bath would kind of be a no, bit of a I turn off. I think the whole bath. No. You have a little curtain, you can... <laughs> You know, take your Mark, and you going too the far. <laughs> and then you've got a nice big sort of public um, exhibition experience where people can go in and really, literally immerse themselves in the art. <laughs> you know? Immerse yes. yourself. Why hasn't it been done? Immerse yourself in We're gonna the, do it. In the art. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> um, what we need to do... But it was great. It was a good evening. Yes. Was it? it was a great turnout of people that came. They no. were, it was one of our busier yeah. exhibitions, yeah. Yeah. and um, it was very well attended. It I was. just it yeah. got a bit warm for me in there, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, but um, you know, and we're kind of off the beaten track, and we're a little bit under the radar. Yeah. But um, the it radar. was good to you know have a bit of a show and have people come yeah. and. Uh, but in my point of view, all the best things are under the radar or start off under the radar. Oh, true. You know, and anything yeah. that, that immediately, for whatever reason, gets illuminated in the spotlight right away is often fraud and rubbish. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that's my uh, that's my personal take, you know, my... Uh, am I wise to, to, to think that? I mean, or am I just being silly? I think that there's a lot of <laughs> truth in that, to be honest. Um, <laughs> potentially. Yeah. <coughs> anyway, I'm yeah. not intelligent enough to work that out. Oh. So, um, <laughs> apologies for. I'm a simple man. Um, so, uh, you know, um, I wanted to talk about um, an open call that's coming up. Um, uh, partly want to talk also talk about the cost of these open calls. Yeah, because there's mean, a few out at the moment to go in. Yeah. For. I'm going in for, uh, well, a few. I mean, I'm, I've got a few lined up. Yeah. Um, um, but at the moment, um, this week and next week, there's two that I'm thinking about. So, um, one is the 
Royal Western Academy, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. Not sure I'm you should go for that. Um, um, well, you know, obviously I was disappointed uh, Disappointed after the the Wells attempt. Yes. Um, but, you know... Will you um, still go and have a look at it? Uh, well, if they didn't take your work, it's not going to be much of what <laughs> you like. Probably not. Uh, I. How much was the Wells one? Like twenty pounds? It was quite expensive. Was yeah. it twenty? Um, twenty something like that. I think. I can't remember to be honest now. Yeah, it was. Is it twenty? Fifteen, twenty. I can't remember, <laughs> but I feel like that's too much for a one painting. Yeah. Well, like I was um, saying before, um, I don't think it's right in my mind to charge artists. A, a lot of which, of, of whom, are um, struggling um, for money, especially uh, oh, yeah. especially in, in the, the climate as it is right now. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, um, and, you know, without getting too political, because it's boring. Yeah, don't get boring <laughs> on us, Mark. Or political. Uh, okay. Um, well, basically, I think, you know, these... Um, these... Uh, big, you know, the cultural venues and everything, um, they should be more funded by government and, um, and, uh, and the, obviously the council, uh, um, and obviously they do bring in some public funding from, you know, exhibitions and all the rest of it, Yeah, which is fair enough, but I think when they say, the, okay, the artist has to pay, like, anywhere between, oh, I don't know what's expensive, 15 to 50 pounds <laughs> if there is a fifty yeah. pound one to enter, I don't know. But um, well, it I, th I think it's it's just depends because it can be off putting, especially when you hear a lot of people say, "Yeah, I'm actually, it's only potluck." Do you know what I mean? Mm. You know, and it does make you wonder sometimes if you mean the selection is potluck. Yeah, I'm not sure um, if it is. I, I don't know either. Um, I, I, I just think it depends on who the judges are. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I think I think there's definitely that element. But there's like, for example, uh, Royal Western Academy has a certain type of work which they typically show, and yeah, this sort of stuff is not typical for their show. Um, that possibly that. not. I mean, um, but maybe they're. Um, I don't know. I mean, uh, they're not. Mark. They're, they're changing not. their. No, no. Um, no, they won't change. Whatever, I don't know. They won't change. <laughs> they won't change. Um, so, I mean, you, it, it really depends. They have a... Yeah, again, uh, on the judges, I guess. They have judges yeah. uh, for entries, and they mm. get a lot of entries. Yeah. But what did yeah. you say the cost was? £25 a painting. Uh, um, I can't remember now, to be honest. No, you said it earlier. Like £25 per painting application to enter. It might be. So you want to put <laughs> you want to put in two paintings? That's fifty pounds. Uh, it's, it might be around that. Yeah, that's I, I really expensive. Yeah, for an application, considering yeah, how yeah. many applications um, they get. Yeah, I mean, if it is that much, then. Uh, then I mean, then it's yeah, it, it, it really uh, bugs me, you know. Like I was looking at um, art opportunities, mm. and I just I didn't I don't really want to talk about art opportunities because I feel like it's a big. A big money-making game right. where people are... You think it's a con? It's not, mm. but there's so... I mean, there's so much emphasis on promoting and advertising these yep. events and getting artists that have totally... You know, most of us are broke. Yeah. Um, yeah. Struggling to, to still make art, and yet we're the ones... Um, applying, we get ha we have to pay, yeah. and we're paying the yeah. galleries yeah, 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 the yeah. money mm, mm -hmm. to yeah. put. It's just another revenue stream for them. Yeah, and well, it's, it's to like us, it's like, hang on a minute. Yeah, if I sp if I um, apply for a couple of shows, yeah. a month, that's that's a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, that I can't afford. Um, I can't even afford a pot of paint that's worth 50, forty quid, let alone. <laughs> No, well, well, that's that's right, you know, and what um, there is something else I'm concerned about, which yeah. is which is that um, uh, and and without getting too political again. Oh, he's doing it. <laughs> Go no, on. I'm gonna keep this short. Um, yeah. Uh, 
I'm concerned that uh, about a, a potential divide between artists that can afford to become successful yeah. and artists that can't afford it and therefore just get marginalised and, and brushed, brushed aside. off the edge yeah. pretty much. I think you're on something there because yeah. I think that happens and a I, lot. I think it's wrong. Yeah. And that, that's oh, really yeah, that's elitist. Wrong. And, and, yeah. um, and But uh, there's also the side of it which is it's not it's not just it's not elitism. Well, it, what is it? It's a class thing, isn't it? It's 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 classist. Is that a thing? Well, I think <laughs> it's a bit of both. It's a bit elitist. It's a bit classist. It, it's the system. The the problem is, you know, everybody says um, one of the ways to get uh, commercially successful, like get some money for the work that you make, is to buy your way in, and uh, that yeah. is like yeah, joining yeah, yeah. in with art fairs. Which costs thousands. Exactly. Like one art fair. Yeah. Thousands. And of then it's gamble as well in. because you might not sell anything. You know. Why? I mean, so. the, the, the reason it costs a thousand, you know, like a couple of thousand or several thousand pounds to join in with an art fair, is because of the popularity of that art fair. So the space is valuable. So they yeah. think they basically um, charge whatever they yeah. want for the and space. And the problem is that space. Um, often you'll find that. It increases in but those um, those big per year you know so those big art fair spaces are really expensive to hire so oh they yeah, need to yeah, every yeah. cube yeah every square meter of that yeah exhibition hall wherever it is it, it makes it really difficult especially yeah. if you've got big work like mine yeah um because say i mean y y there are some art fairs that you can say you know you, you submit your images or whatever to, to whoever's doing it, the organisers or people working. Yeah. And, um, and they'll th look at your work and they'll think, okay, yeah, this is, this is good. This can fit in with the, with the fair. Um, now please pay us, you know, however many thousand pounds to have a, a wall space um, 150 centimetres squared. You know, um, yeah, it's and and that's that's it's about unrealistic. just about enough room to get one one of my slightly bigger paintings in, yeah. and that's it. And <laughs> if you don't sell it, no, well, you, you're in a lot of debt. Oh yeah, yeah. So it is. It's uh, a it's know, a massive gamble. Considering I mean, just think of the stress that that creates. Yeah. It's not worth it. I yeah. just don't know. I mean, we we see a lot of. Um, um, sort of artists on Instagram being incredibly successful um, with very mediocre work. And it's like, and they come out with... Seems to be the way. Oh, if you if you marriage uh, cr your art creativity with business, you're unstoppable. And it's like, no, it, you're lucky. <laughs> where, you, where you are based and who you know yeah. is... What got you started? And yeah, for some much, reason, you're, much, yeah. you've convinced yourself that you're good at both art and business. Yeah, yeah. Not at uh, all. It's no, just uh, like and out of out uh, of position. Really, only a very small minority of artists are really good at good. business. Yeah, you know that's the thing. Yeah, you know, including me. I mean, well, not including me because I'm I'm not very good with the business side of things. Hugely, I do what I can, but I'm. Definitely not an expert. No, and I can I, I admit that you know. Um, I mean, uh, let me ask you this: How often do you post like social media posts about your studio practice? Like, um, do you do it every it day? It varies. Yeah. Do you do, mean, do you do it daily though? Uh, not daily. I mean, at one point I was doing it daily, but didn't really seem to change anything no 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 and obviously um, the uh, instagram's algorithms totally it's gone down the pot now so you know you can't rely on certain platforms as as you uh once could which is really unfortunate um, these are pretty good eh yeah blooming good um cheers it's a <laughs> bit um it is a bit sweet and juicy for me it is very sweet very sweet very juicy but I think this is going to go well w when I move on to the gin later on. Yeah, it will. In fact, you could you could <laughs> you um, probably could put gin in that. Yeah, you, you could pour th that into gin and drink it. It'll be it'd be really good, really good wouldn't delicious, it? Delicious, actually. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, I might do that as well. Oh, but, gosh. Um, yeah. So sorry about the uh, the heaviness of the. Uh, yeah, let's the lighten up, will we? Jesus there. Christ! It was a, quite a bit of a rant. I mean, um, 
you know, as as artists, we're we we are sensitive beings, and we're quite, I would say, angry. Um, no, I wouldn't <laughs> say angry. It might come across <laughs> a bit angry sometimes. But oh. I, I think very um, maybe passionate. <laughs> passionate. Passionate. Yeah. So yeah. I'm not. So I'm not a psychopath. I'm just passionate. Um. Well, you might be a passionate psychopath. <laughs> oh, that's scary. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't want to be one of those. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you might be the first one. No, well, I think there is a certain... How exciting would that be? No, I don't think think psychopath is good in any way. Um, Depends how you channel it. Um, Well, on the canvas, you mean? Yeah. Like uh, like with paint. And in life. I don't think you want to be a (laughs) psychopath in life. Um, No, I mean, maybe not so much to other people... But, um, but in, in just in your way of, um, of, of, of being, maybe privately, um, and obviously in your, uh, your art uh, practice, your, your creating of, of artworks. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can be, that's, that's your place, just, isn't it? To be who you are. You know. Let's just say passionate about your, your authentic creativity. self. Yeah. Let's, let's ignore, let's put that psychopath part <laughs> to bed. Like... We don't want to focus on that bit because um, people s- might start getting worried about you. Oh, too late. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Um, right. Let's. Uh, I want to talk about. You know, we've we've talked a little bit about. Um, uh, sorry for tutting right into microphone there. Um, so no we, yeah, we we were talking a little bit about the disgusting. Sorry, it's the gas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the bubbles. Gassed. It was the bubbles wait, in the wait. <laughs> in the Thatcher's blood orange. Very fizzy, <laughs> very fizzy. Yeah. Um, we were talking about the sort of price gouging of uh, these bastards. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, well. These uh, these uh, bloody yeah. art group we bastards. Don't, yeah. We don't name anyone particular. No, no. Um, but the you know the the open calls. Um, the prices need to come down, guys. Do you remember when it used to be like, you know, 25p to apply for an art exhibition? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it was, you know, they, they were like £10, right? Or like £15 at the most. And yeah, now, like, the yeah, minimum um, price for an application is 25 quid. Um, like, yeah, I mean, it, I guess it depends on. Uh, I mean, it does seem to be a lot, a lot of. Um, um, of, of galleries and or institutions in, gen- in general. Um, but, so, um, uh, but then there are a few free ones. Well, this out is there. this is why I bring it up. They generally are harder to find, though. Yeah, and you don't often see a free exhibition uh, open call. No, um, and I, I I think it's because they're not adver- advertised as much as the. The ones where you the paid ones exactly that make loads of money no, and no, can afford the advertising exactly yeah <laughs> that's it that's that's why yeah um so uh, I just want to uh, move on to a free open call um, so the London Graphic Centre in London um, it has a free artist uh, artist open call that is free yeah. I, had, I didn't know how to say that no no free that's fine open yeah, call it works. And they um, also supply art materials. They do. Mm. Um, so I didn't. I In didn't fact, I actually bought some stuff from them did recently. You? Did yeah. you? Yeah. Last uh, couple of weeks. Because ago. I've never heard of them. Oh, um, interesting. Right. And I, I found the open call and I went, who are the. Oh, it was on an Instagram feed video. And it was actually this guy. What's his name? Was it uh, Tom Croft? Huh. Talking to the camera, going. I've been asked to make this video for London Graphic Centre as I'm one of the judges. He was very entertaining, actually. And yeah. um, to be honest, I quite like his painting there. He's got a self-portrait yeah. of one of his paintings on there. And yeah. um, he was introducing, and I thought, this is going to be another scam, you know. Yeah, but yeah. when he said, it's completely free to enter, it's the London Graphic Centre. And then um, I looked it up and I went, Really? It's free, really. Yeah. That's and not, not a bad first prize, though, I see. So first prize is £5,000. Mm. £500 worth of materials from the London Graphic Centre. £500 voucher from Liquitex, Windsor and Newton. And £500 voucher from 
PBO. What's PBO? Do you know what um, PBO is? I think it's some kind of oh. art supplier or something. Session timed out. Oh, how what are silly! You talking about that's. <laughs> n- um, so I noticed some of these photographs of the paintings they've got leading up to the introduction of the art prizes are pretty, pretty good paintings. They're all right. And I'm yeah. um, thinking, oh, well, well good. There's, n- there's no point me applying because my work's not that good. Look at that. Oh, there's, no, like, no, it's, it's, there's like some uh, real artists in there. Yeah. Um, I'm just kidding, Mark. Yeah, I, am, yeah. I know, I well, know my work's good. All, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Again, it's a, a subjective What's, thing, isn't it? Have you heard of this, PBO? I haven't, actually, I must uh, admit. From painting um, to casting, PBO covers it all. We're getting it. It started in 1919. Wow. Never heard of it. No, I uh, don't. French. Ah, uh, that could PBO. be why. Well, the French keep all the best stuff to themselves, don't they? <laughs> yeah. I'm just I'm just kidding. I don't know that. For a <laughs> fact. Um, so what did they say for casting? It looks like inks. <clears throat> it looks mostly inks. Color X. What's that? Watercolor ink. Um, so what... Uh, Okay, brushes, acrylic, is that PBO paints? PBO modelling? Oh, it's just a bit crafty, isn't it? Um, anyway. So we could do something good with it. Uh. So the first prizes are good. So the top most, top most prize. Yeah. Did I just say that? Uh, the top most, top most prize is yeah. £5,000. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and then there's a People's uh, Choice Award, uh, which... Yeah. Um, £2,000. Yeah, uh, I, I, again with that one. Yeah. <laughs> That's what? people's choice. So, what do you think about the people's choice? Uh, yeah, uh, I, I, <laughs> I think I need to be careful. What, really? Well, <clears throat> um, speak your mind, Mark. Speak my mind. Speak your mind. Um, you must. I think generally, when it comes to people's choice things, uh, um. It's it's kind of what you might yeah, ex- expect, you know, to be popular. <laughs> you know, like uh, uh, hairs, maybe gold, gold, um, gold plated, uh, not gold plated, um, uh, gold leaf sort of hairs in, in a, you know, paint, you know, in you a, mean in a like frame and chintzy and uh, crafty, uh, like probably, stuff that was yeah. kind of like, oh, it's a it's a nice accurate painting of a dog. Yeah. Y- yes, yeah. So without being too offensive to the uh, <laughs> the majority of the public, um, yeah, I it does tend to you be know that who way. You are. I don't know why, but but not everyone, obviously. Um, so uh, so yeah. it might what so you're th- saying there is you go. so so that's um, I mean, in my personal opinion, the, you know, People's Choice Award, you know, so you know, in it, it's one of those things. Uh, you know, uh, th- you, you can't be totally sure o- on that, but it's more likely to be, you know, a, <coughs> a hair. Or, I, I know or, where you come or, from. Or like a yeah. stag in a, you know, in a, in a field, that, you know, in, in moonlight you mean, or something. I yeah, know. like, um, <coughs> yeah, sort of an, you know, like a, a an accurately painted uh, his, historical landscape. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> We're not, you know, anyway, right, let's move on. Overview. Free to enter. One person, uh, sorry, one entry per person, <coughs> open to artists within the UK. Really good, right? Nice. Nice to see. Well done. And it's... Um, well done. Yes. That, uh, this business is kind of their... Um, and uh, I guess they're... Uh, no, actually, what would pay for it then if it's free? Well, to put on a this show guy... Then? Theo right. Pafat- P- I can't say his name. Do you think name. he's paying for it personally? Pafatis. How do you say that name? Jesus. Uh, uh, Theo. Wait, wait, I can't see it. Pafit. Up there. Oh yeah. There. Theo um, Pafitis. Pafitis. Theo Pafitis. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Theo Pafitis, if you didn't know, and I, I never watched it, but did you ever watch Dragons Den? Uh, I saw a few episodes. So I guess he's from there, right? <laughs> the original Dragons Den. 
Oh, really? Um, and they liked art, didn't they? Oh, the, the name sounds funny. Yeah, funny. so he's, yeah, um, I think he's a founder of uh, London Graphic Centre. Oh. Or a, like one of the... Oh, that's good to know. He's like one of the people funding it. And Excellent. So I guess he's funding the mm, art prize. Could well be. Oh, um, good. Because I guess he likes art. Yeah. No, well done. Well I, done, I him. congratulate him because, yeah. you know, uh, that's what we need, another patron of the arts, you know. We need exactly a good it. patron of the arts. Absolutely. And, um, it's just, it's there just, are too few of them around. There are too you know, few. There are too few. Yeah. So um, we need some really, ri- I mean, I think he's quite, he's done quite well. Um, but we need some really, really um, uh, wealthy patrons of yeah. the arts. Like yeah, yeah. Um, there don't seem to be many of them around. Not at the t- moment. No, they're too busy counting their money. Paintings? <laughs> counting <laughs> their paintings. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I don't know. They are, they're probably more interested in like making more money and investments than yeah. actually enjoying art. Um, mm. But... So yeah, so the London Graphics Centre, um, and there there is a deadline. There he is, Theo Pafitis. Oh yeah, that's, there he is. That's Do you recognise him? Yes. Yeah. So the judges, we've got Kate Brinkworth. I remember seeing Kate's work on Cork Street, and oh, she yeah, was doing yeah. like candies. Oh nice. And you see was this? It, uh, see this um, dice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Casino painting. Yeah. She was doing that, but they were like candies and Coke bottles and. Oh nice. Um, and I, I was I speaking to um, I was speaking to our studio manager Jim uh, about this painting, and he w- he was totally offended by her work. Oh really? Yeah, well, I'm like, but it looks <laughs> great. <laughs> That's Jim for you. Yeah, no. and I said, you know, she she's really a knowledgeable artist of like how to use color and yeah. how to mix paint, and she's very so like, what was obviously Jim? very talented. But he what just found it. Um, you know, he found it completely empty and dead right. and oh, not see. important right. at all. Um, but Aww. I said, but it, she's, you know, she makes these really um, attractive things. Yeah, you yeah. know, they're almost... It's about what you can read into. Hyper-realist. You know, what you can read into a, a, an image or a yeah. painting as well, you know. So we got... I is quite... That? Anyway, I quite like Kate's work. Mm. Um, I don't know why you would not like Kate's work. I've seen them in the flesh. They are quite impressive. She uses a lot of oil, right? Okay. Um, and I guess it eventually dries out. But she use, you know, it's all done quite wet, and then she yeah. brushes feathers at everything with nice. a, a large feather brush. Proper painting. She's do, She's exactly. a she's That's a proper it. artist. Proper you know, artist. like proper yeah. painter. Yeah, and um, doing very well at it. That's and what then, I like to see. Yeah. Then next is Tom Croft. I don't know much about him, but um, I I've only I did look him up on Instagram and I think I did maybe I followed him um, but he's um, the, the portrait that they've got on the site this one self-portrait of Tom um, I don't mind it that's alright I, li- I like the fact he's got a pink t-shirt on oh yeah on there yeah yeah you know. um, so I've got a pink t-shirt have you yeah. I don't I don't think I've got <laughs> um, so Brian it's got naked women on it oh but you know it's, that's awful that, that's a um, so Brian Reed, <laughs> um, I didn't, re- I couldn't really figure out what Brian Reed does from his presence online. We know Theo um, and Jane Kay. I couldn't find anything on her, or I found it and I was totally uninterested and right, com- right. immediately purged her from my memory. Yeah, because um, I don't remember. Oh, okay. But um, well, they look f- very friendly and genuine. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah. So, so I'm going to equally important. Yeah, I'm going to try <laughs> and apply for this one. Yeah, I may well do the same. Um, <laughs> for my with my latest Obviously uh, when, when you go in for any competition, it's it's I think it's healthy to not expect to get in. <laughs> Don't expect the unexpected. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, you know, you can be hopeful uh, up to some point, but it's if you if you put too much i mean i've learned this from experience you know if you put too much expectation every time yeah on something and get especially upset. when you've paid a lot for it and you don't get in it it's like yeah you, be you start to wonder is my work just crap crap yeah but obviously it's not 
No, it's good not. Because loads of people see my work and... I'll oh, stop you there, Mark. And we're they gonna, say, yes, it's great. We're going to switch out. We're going to be back in a second. Ah, right. We're having a break. We're going to have a break. Cheers. Let's go. Okay. Um, we, d- we just had a, a little uh, uh, two minute. We kind of like disappeared for a minute. We just... <laughs> Where were we? We uh, just kind of zoned out completely. I'm really tired. Are you tired? <laughs> I'm exhausted. I think man. it's the weather. It's Friday, and uh, it's been a really tiring, a really exhausting week yeah. of, um, and a tiring day. I don't know what's going on today. Maybe it's something to do with the. It's the energy, the weather, the electromagnetic field, or you right. know, right. climate change. <sighs> oh, man. That's the second time I've mentioned that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Um, I want to draw uh, the viewers' attention to uh, some of the work we got knocking around in uh, in our little stage here. So we've got this one down here. That was um, a little Seven Up painting bottle. Um, of my uh, my son painted that. Yeah. Careful with those scissors, Mark. There's a lot of cables. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of going. That'd be entertaining, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Do that. Yeah, yeah. Let's keep yourself. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, probably increase the view count. This yeah. is next to a painting I did, uh, which has got um, "It's only a matter of time" written on it. Um, it is only a matter of time. It's a nice statement there. Um, yeah. So, uh, little couple of little small paintings at the front there, and then we've got um, one of yours, Mark, at the back. Uh yeah yeah that's that's a, a re- recent painting I did there, <coughs> and um, um, the uh, what size would you say that is? It's not quite a meter, is it? It's like a um, I I think that's seventy five by seventy five centimeters. Well, that is uh, seventy five. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's yeah, seventy five. Uh, yeah, 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 seventy five. And I don't um, know if you can see this. Um, oh, you can see the skull painting. The skull painting I've got oh, up there. Um, you can't. You you won't be able to tell. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna grab it. Yeah. One second. Uh, you can entertain the. Uh, <laughs> hang, on. hang on. I'll be reacting. Right I, I don't know if you can see that. It's it's got an. In, it's like cutting. I'm cutting into it. I'm gonna show the camera. Hang on. And that word on there says place. Know your place. Yeah. So, so how does that um, uh, connect with the the work? Would you say? Because you've got a few kind of skulls with different words on. I mean, there's one up there that's yeah. out of view that says time. Time. So um, oh, we've got time, time and, and place. place. So, that, so uh, yeah, they kind of um, would make a good pair, wouldn't they? they it was a series of work. I was doing uh, skulls mm. and. Um, People are. Uh, some people are very confused about my skull paintings. They're oh, like, "Why?" Yeah, but that's that's what you expect from from uh, contemporary art is to not always know, and that's a good thing. Yeah, you I'm. Know. And to be honest, I didn't know. <laughs> I still don't know why I was painting skulls. Um. So I did. Um, uh, I don't think it's important to always know, as long well, as you can expand on it and work with that. That series, uh, uh, that series concept, was called yeah. um, the Living Too Late Skulls, after named pre the podcast, huh? Uh, which uh, came out of um, just l- this my fascination with Living Too Late, the phrase Living Too Late, yeah. which we both know. What's that saying? Session timed out. Oh. So we we both know, uh, you know, Living Too Late is uh, was um, well, I I only know it from. Uh, the band The Fall, yeah, uh, Living Too Late as a song, um, which is our part, uh, a fraction of that tune is our background music. And um, the Living Too Late series Skulls were, I was trying to incorporate um, meaningful words. Um, so I had place, time. What else did I do? You know, I completely forget what I... Yeah. Um so there remember. are more there are more than that. But yeah, um yeah. so uh yeah, and it's mm. it's a bit of a mystery really, the skulls and yeah, uh yeah. the patterns and yeah. uh, some have got flowers on them, some have got 
exactly. But butterflies, think, leaves. That's the thing when you know. I think it's important to leave room to to read into to what pieces of art. Yeah, you know, and and huh. simply by by doing that and continuing with that uh, the concept, things you you will find meanings emerge from the murk f- from the murkiness. Uh, of, yeah, of the su- human psyche. You know. Yeah, they're kind um, of um, there's some um, there's a sublime mm. attitude mm. Yeah, to yeah. it. Um, yeah, yeah. In, in the same way, I could say with my work, e- even really? though it's it's uh, a, a different thing. Obviously, it's uh, purely abstract. Um, and uh, I, I, what were you going for with that one then? I, um, I mean, there was a, there was obviously a, yeah. a starting point. Well, um, the starting point was right at the centre. Right in the middle of the yeah. painting. Um, in fact, I would say that the starting point generally is at the very centre of every painting I make. Is it really? Yeah, oh. it begins at the centre, even and it if... it expands out like it the universe. Yes, exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly it. Awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah. I love it. Yeah, that's exactly uh, do you know it who? Uh, do you know who we should... We should probably. Uh, wouldn't it be amazing if we got someone like Brian Cox <laughs> to talk about your paintings? It would. Yeah, that would be great. Although right. um, he's very um, scientific minded about things, he he's not very open to the spirituality side of things. So, I mean, I mean, I am. Oh. So, so maybe that would actually create an interesting uh, dialogue, dialogue. You know, A dialogue. Yeah. Um, perhaps you could challenge his position on. Oh, I definitely would. Sort of faith, <laughs> faith and yeah. and uh, yeah, I I I don't know. I I mean, I could listen to him all day long. I think. Yeah. Um, just love hearing him talk in his <laughs> sort of it's uh, very um, soft, dulcet tones. Exactly. Yeah, it's a, it's uh, a very meditative um, voice. Voice. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those things. We, yeah, I don't know if you can. <laughs> can you? Can you remember what he sounds like? How to? Uh, well, he's got a sort of slightly northern accent, hasn't he? Yeah, and he's, um, he's very slow speaking. Did you know that the sun was uh, <laughs> born? <laughs> yeah. Billion. No, not billion. I don't know how old the sun is. Uh, but no, no. I, I, I think you. I think you were on years it years yeah. ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very good, <laughs> Mark. I, yeah. I. That's a very good Im- impression. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um. But. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty fascinating stuff that he talks about. Oh, and absolutely, it, like this, yeah. I love it when he starts talking about the scale of things. Yeah. And yeah. Um, like, uh, when he uh, explains, like, life on... Mm. The potential for life on other planets, but then yeah. talks about those other planets, like yeah, all yeah. those millions and millions of planets. I'm fascinated by it, too. I must admit, I mean, I love, I, I love space. Yeah. I love... Um, I've I've always had a fascination with that since a boy, I guess. You know, um, you know the cosmos, um, yeah, it's the, the 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 connection, no, knowing that we're part of something so huge, yeah. and every single war and divide that we create on Earth is just so In- pointless, yeah, and and so stupid. Stupid. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It's the, it's the it's pale blue dot things. image, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, you know the. Um, <laughs> Well, I was in. Uh, there was a fact that um, I heard uh, Brian Cox um, said about um, even though there are all these other million potential Earth-like planets, um, he said if you look at the age of our of the Earth and where we are in the solar system and how old the planet is, um, all these other millions of planets that are potentially could be similar, they need to have so many like uh, millennia of stability. He said it's quite yeah. unusual um, considering where they are and their yeah. position in the universe. Yeah, like yeah. if they're closer to the centre, yeah, we're yeah. much further out. Yeah, yeah. So if then, the centre is... Wouldn't have yeah, they, ha- that they way. haven't had yeah. time to Isn't that interesting? develop. I think so he yeah. said you need stability yeah. to get a planet with life uh, on it. Yes. And we've had that st- stability for so many millions of years. Yeah. So or you billions, yeah. Mi- yeah. Million, millions, millions, millions. I don't know. Is it billions? I don't Probably know. Probably billions. Anyway, I, I, anyway, millions, millions, millions. why are we talking about the universe? Oh yeah, your um. So yeah, I kind of see your yeah, um, paintings as a kind of explosion. Yeah, yeah, of yeah it is a bit like. There's something else that that particular one reminds me of as well. Um, uh, if I don't know if anyone's seen any images of um, when they fire um, very minute atoms down the. Uh, 
what's it called? Like one of those, like the the CERN. Um, CERN, yeah. Hadron Collider. Hadron Collider. Yeah, that's yeah. it. And they explode. Well, this is it's very Brian Cox. <laughs> yeah, true. I mean, he he might have made a point of that actually before me, but um, it kind of reminds me of that. You know, when yeah, they see fascinating. It, you know, so yeah. And, well, and you know, they they um, <coughs> they project atoms almost at the speed of light. Yeah, yeah. And then collide it's incredible, them. Incredible, isn't it? Then they collide them. Yeah. Do you remember when they first did it? What are they really looking for? That's the question. I mean, it's a huge More amount answers. of money to to what? Though? They're looking. I mean, for, <laughs> for the meaning of everything. Well, they understand. They want to understand the conditions yeah. of the Big Bang. Yeah, yeah. So then, uh, if they discover and they're looking it, for dark matter as but well. But it's still, apparently so. it hasn't been producing data accurately for very long because it broke. Oh dear. And then, so we've only had a few years of um, experiments. Fascinating. So. Um, yeah, but it's pretty amazing. I don't know if you remember it this. It is interesting. When yeah. they first had that machine running, um, nobody knew what was going to happen. Huh. So we, were, everyone was speculating. But what oh, yeah, if it's going to create a black w- hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like what? <laughs> what if everything? What if it just explodes yeah. and then you yeah. know we, we get yeah. destroyed? Well, that might still happen. You, you never know, know. When you stop messing with these things, you know, we've already created the bomb. What if the it atomic colli- bomb? What yeah. if it collides and in, in a unique way and then causes a chain reaction? Yeah. Anyway, um, or, I think uh, yeah. I think we're done, Mark. Yeah, no, the, I think that's a, that's a, a nice, interesting note f- to uh, to end on. I think. Yeah, I think um, we, you've got another couple of canvases I see being built. Did I do? I'm working on that little bad boy down there, which I feel like I'm not sure whether it's going well or not just yet. Um, I'm yeah, experimenting with cutting. I'm cutting back into an old surface there, so it's going to be very complex and noisy. Nice. Lots going on in there. Good, but, good. Um, I think there's a long way to go on that one. Um, but, I mean, it's only going to be a small picture but it's going to be a huge amount of work. And then I'm worried yeah. about what could, you know, how do you sell something like that? It's like very... Uh, uh, well, yeah. I mean, so I, still I don't have the magic answer. No. So. <laughs> I mean, because I've already spent a lot of hours on it. And if I keep working into it, it the price keeps having to go up, doesn't it? I mean... Um, you would think so, normally, yeah. But um, I'm not in a position of ha- having ever m- sold any work, so... Oh. I well, know. Well, you know, this this is it. You know, the thing is, you, you know, you're not unique in the situation, you know, because uh, I know for a fact that there are probably hundreds of really talented artists out there mm. who have never managed to sell anything yet, you know? Yeah. Um, or or, so who, or who have decided not to to um, continue with their their natural skill, you know, yeah. because they they just feel like it's not it's never going to support them and all the rest of it. But the way I see it is, um, why put your belief in any other system that you think is going to support you? Because no, actually, <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? That's not how yeah. it works. I mean, I mean um, you only have to look at what's going on. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you might as well just do what you are gifted at. Uh, yeah, I mean, I see it. yeah, but it's, I mean, it is, if you can't, if you can't make a living with with that gift, you yeah. have to find a way to make a living. But what if it is a so living, though? I it, mean, could, it, it could be a living. Yeah. But what if, if it's, it's, a, it's a living without a necessarily bringing in um, a regular, um, consistent income? Um, if you can survive on it, great. If not, then you need to perhaps find a yeah, more practical yeah. way of I making mean, I, money. I mean, I've had to, um, you know, live r- pretty frugally, to be honest. I, I just, but you know, yeah. it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a balancing um, act, I guess. You know, you, you it's what, what yeah. you're prepared to. I, I know where you're coming from. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's not the same for everybody. No, I mean, I uh, you know, and those with like you've had children or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we've got. Um, I, you know, me personally, and I'm sure there's lots of people out there, is uh, got uh, got family commitments where yeah. you need to go and find somewhere where you can get a salary because you need to pay the bills more regularly yeah. than a painting can um, afford. Yeah. You know, so anyway, 
All I'd say for all the art like budding artists out there, um, no, I won't. I don't really want to say anything, but I, you know, <laughs> um, I would say it's. I mean, it is. If you're thinking about becoming an artist, then yeah, it's it's an extreme challenge. It really and is. And if you can make something commercially uh, viable, yeah, then then well done, well done. <laughs> because but I mean, it might it might not. You know, it might not pay off straight away either. You know, it, but some it may people soon. It may seem to tap into like they get um, a certain type of artwork which yeah. is considered the pub- yeah. like what what was that uh, like the public favorite? Yeah, well, that's <laughs> it. I mean, going back to the uh, in the, in the competition, call. the yeah. the open call, the uh, the public choice, the know? public choice is the kind of there's 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 that type there's of that artwork. particular market, isn't it? Everyone yeah. there's a market for whatever sort of art you, that you're doing, obviously with abstract work, if, especially if it's contemporary like mine, then I know that that market is going to be much smaller. <laughs> yeah. You know, but yeah. that's just me. You know, that's yeah. that's who I am. That's what I do. So um, anyway, <laughs> um, it's been lovely hanging out with you again, Mark. It's been good. And um, I... Um, I think we should uh, come back some, like fairly soon with uh, another podcast talking about our um, journey in the art world and talking... Drink! Drink! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Father Jack, just uh, my inner Father Jack <laughs> bursting out there. I was trying to hold him back, you know. Oh, yeah. Couldn't do it any longer. Drink! Are you going to set me <laughs> off? Uh, yeah. That, that's gin! <laughs> 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 Um, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, calm down. Uh, right, uh, yeah, so... So on that note... <laughs> on that note, uh, we'll call it a night there. And, um, uh, yeah, we'll be back uh, sometime in the near future. Yeah, we look forward to seeing you there. And we'll have some a lot of interesting things to talk about. No yeah, doubt. I think more art news next time. Okay, yeah. Yeah, didn't Very have good. anything... We, I kind of uh, didn't have any art news this time. Oh, that's but, fine. Uh, it's, it's still... Interesting, valid content. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, so I that's think. it. For <laughs> <laughs> that's it for um, another episode. And um, like uh, I, I always forget to mention, if you haven't, you should uh, probably like and subscribe right about now. Yeah. Do and we have uh, a button? A magic button somewhere? There's a button. I see some people do this. Like put the button. Somewhere ring the around bell. here. Yeah. I'm just going to point there. Yeah. For now, it yeah. may not be there eventually when this has been edited, but who knows? Um, you mean uh, after three, Mark? One, two, three. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. it for uh, for tonight. And um, how do we finish? I forget how we finish. We finish with. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, you've done it now. I'm gonna have to put up the music. All right, that's it for now. See you in the next episode. Living too late.